winner in 2019. My name is Kate Courtney. It's easy to think that when I do this, it's because of how hard I train. It is, but all of that is actually controlled by this. The most powerful computer known to man, the human brain. The brain weighs just three pounds, but it controls all of your thoughts, your actions, and your feelings. It does everything that makes you, you. The brain is so powerful, yet so vulnerable. And for me, it was just one decision to protect it that made all the difference. It was 2016. I was on the World Cup mountain biking tour, competing in countries all over the world. Australia, Germany, and then France happened. It was an extremely tight race. I was neck and neck with a few of the other riders. I was right on a girl's wheel when she stalled. I tried to stop, but it was too late. I lost control and fell head first down a steep rock garden. As soon as I started having symptoms, I knew I had a concussion. When I landed home from France, I went straight to the doctor and worked with my training team to make a plan. I did exactly what they said, and seven days later, I was completely symptom-free and back on the World Cup circuit. But my recovery was only so quick and easy because I'd learned from my previous mistakes. Four years earlier, I had my first concussion, but I didn't recognize the symptoms. I was doing poorly in school and struggling to concentrate. I brushed off my headache and nausea and just kept going. I didn't report because I didn't know those were the symptoms of a concussion. It turns out concussions don't just happen in sports like football or soccer. In fact, most concussions happen because of everyday accidents. A broken arm, a broken leg, a broken collarbone. With most injuries, you can easily see them. However, a concussion is an invisible injury. Even using the most powerful imaging technology, it's nearly impossible to detect. Thanks to Stanford University, we have access to cutting edge medical technology to actually fly through a real human brain. Let's explore the parts of the brain to help understand where neuroscientists believe the damage from concussions is happening. This is what we probably picture when we think of the brain. This is called the gray matter. The biggest part here is the cerebrum. These squishy bumps are where all your information processing takes place, like learning, seeing, and feeling. Tucked below the cerebrum is the cerebellum. It coordinates all of your movements, like walking, balancing, and eye tracking. And here is your brain step. It takes care of needs you don't even think about, like breathing, sleeping, and regulating your body temperature. Your brain is so important that it needs special protection. You can think of your skull like a natural helmet. It helps protect your brain from getting hurt. There's one more layer of padding you may not know about. It's your cerebrospinal fluid. It's clear and runny, like water. The brain floats in this fluid, which provides a natural protective cushion between the brain and the skull. And there's fluid inside your brain, too. These areas, called ventricles, are hollow pockets inside the brain where fluid is made and stored every day. Scientists believe it flushes the brain clean of toxins and waste Along with this fluid, blood vessels also play an important role in nourishing your brain. We have blood vessels throughout our entire body. You can see them under your skin, on your hands and wrists. Did you know your brain is jam-packed with blood vessels? They transport oxygen and other nutrients through more than 400 miles of vessels in our brain alone. That's the equivalent of 75 times the height of Mount Everest. This is now the white matter. Each of these white matter tracks is extremely important because they are made up of bundles of many axons. All our brain's information travels on these axons. 
any hard hit to your head or body can result in a whiplash motion to your brain. Scientists believe that this injury to the white matter can stretch and twist these axons and may be what causes a concussion. But the axons are so tiny that we can't show them in real life. Here's one way to think about it. Think of each axon like a highway. Anytime you take a hard hit, the roads could get damaged, creating potholes and cracks. This damage is similar to getting a concussion. Just like it takes time to repair these roads, it also takes time to heal a concussion. But our brains are so powerful that most concussions heal within a couple weeks, if we take the right steps. It's pretty crazy that all of that is happening in here. I've injured my brain twice. The first time, I knew something wasn't right, but I didn't know I was concussed. Thankfully, my second concussion wasn't as serious because I knew to take it seriously. Your brain does everything it can to take care of you. Will you take care of it? <laughs>